Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast for November 1st through the 7th. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to see what's coming up for you guys as we're coming into this new moon energy. Now, if you stumble upon this video outside of the dates I mentioned, don't worry. You found it when you were meant to find it, when it was time for you to hear the messages. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. Not every message is going to resonate, so... Take the ones that resonate and leave the ones that don't. So without further ado, our darling Gemini friends, let's see what's going on for you guys and what messages are coming in, what you all might be manifesting, what you all might be putting out there, anything to look out for. Let's see what we have coming up, darling Gemini friends. Your first card coming up here is the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign person. Earth sign people are going to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, you may have an Earth sign placement, and so you might be very focused on that area of your life. Um, overall, though, the Queen of Pentacles for me has a really special meaning in readings. I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot readings for love and romance, but if you're new to my channel, in the weekly forecasts, I want to focus on you. I want to focus less on other people, more about you. Once a month, I do a love reading, and that's linked in the description of the video. So we're not going to talk about this, how you would normally hear Queen of Pentacles if you're looking at a love reading. For me and my readings... When Queen of Pentacles comes up, um, it, it's sometimes a confirmation that there's going to be an upgrade in your living environment. Like it can be a confirmation that property is going to be purchased or that you're going to um, have a, a better standard of living. But she comes in with a really important message when she comes into my readings. And that's telling us that whatever's happening for you in the current energy, whatever you're dealing with, being grounded, being in your body, and physical self-care are crucial for you um, in, the, in that time period of when you're having this reading. So in the coming week, Gemini, or whenever you happen to stumble upon this video, physical self-care, grounding, and being in your body are going to be very crucial for you. Okay, you're an air sign. So naturally, it's going to be in your tendency to be in the realm of thought, to be in your thoughts, to be in the realm of air. But Queen of Pentacles is saying you got to come into your body right now. This is especially true, Gemini, if you're trying to manifest and if you are feeling a bit frustrated about your manifestations. Maybe you feel like it's been tricky and you're like, what is it? Why can't I get the hang of it? We can't manifest if we're not grounded. Also, we cannot heal if we're not grounded. Maybe there's something some of you guys are trying to heal. Um, I did it, I did your love reading for November not that long ago. So I remember there was a heaviness in, in the heart of Gemini. Like Gemini had been through something really significant. Gemini was emotionally, mentally, physically exhausted when I did the love reading for November. And so... Um, some of you are coming into this week with that kind of frustrated, exhausted, tired energy. You may feel like people have let you down and disappointed you. You may be feeling very frustrated about what's happening in the world right now. It might be scaring you or freaking you out. And the thing is, Queen of Pentacles says we can't heal. We can't overcome. We can't manifest if we're not grounded, if we're not in our body. So how do you do that? How do you ground? How do you be in your body? Um, if you're anything like me at the beginning of my journey, it was impossible for me to do the visualization meditations when they'd be like, oh, imagine there's an anchor and it's going down to the center of the earth and it's around your waist and it's courting you. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get the hang of that kind of stuff in the beginning. So the easiest way to, to um, ground yourself, to be in your body, uh, to uh, be present is to practice physical self-care. Make sure you're getting enough sleep and good quality sleep. Clear away any clutter in your physical environment. Uh, make it uh, your little sanctuary, right? Maybe you're sharing space with people. Maybe you're living with other people. So carve out whatever space you can for yourself. 
and make that space a sanctuary. Maybe you're going to also make space for yourself by changing your schedule. Maybe you're going to go to bed a little bit earlier so you don't have to deal with them. Maybe you're going to wake up a little bit earlier so you have some quiet time in the place to yourself before everybody else wakes up. Um, when you're making food to eat, make sure that you're eating food that is natural, that has vitamins and nutrients in it. Um, you know, not things that are chemically processed. Um, as much as you can, try to put natural foods in your system and present it to yourself like you would do uh, to somebody you cared about. Like if you had a guest coming over or if you had a hot date or something and you wanted to impress them and you would you would make the food look pretty. You would put love into it. Do that for yourself in your meals. Put love into the meals that you're having for yourself with the things you already have. You don't have to break the bank. Um, uh, lotions that feel good on the skin, aromatherapy, uh, uh, baths, um, uh, anything that you can do to like pamper yourself, uh, bed sheets, pajamas that feel good on the skin, anything that you can do that makes it feel good to be in your body and gives you a sense of physical satisfaction that is good for you, um, is going to really help you with grounding and being in your body and giving you a sense of luxury, giving you a sense of abundance, then we attract more luxury, then we attract more abundance. But more importantly, you remember that you're a human being and that you deserve gentleness and that you deserve, uh, you know, love, you deserve compassion, you deserve to be treated uh, like you're special, right? Because you're doing that for yourself and it's helping reminding you, hey, I'm a person too here. I deserve gentleness. I deserve respect. I deserve to receive, right? So physical self-care is very important for you guys in the coming, I'm going to say the next two to three weeks even. The next card that's coming up for you, Gemini, is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords can indicate there might be a burning of bridges. You might be tempted to burn some bridges here. You might be wanting to leave a, a living situation and that's why that message came up for you. Or you might be wanting to leave toxic people. I feel, Gemini, like there's a lot of arguing around you. And for some reason, I feel like you're feeling pulled in a lot of different directions. Like your friends are complaining about each other, right? Like if you have a group of friends, this friend doesn't like that friend and that friend doesn't doesn't like this friend and they're both trying to pull you onto their side or it's happening in the family or your family can't stand your spouse your spouse can't stand your family uh co-workers are are divided and for some reason gemini i feel like people are just complaining to you and bickering and arguing and they're pulling at you and i just feel you're in this energy where you're like i don't want the drama i don't want the chaos i'm so over this i don't even care anymore and i feel like you're in this energy where you just want to just be done with everybody like just cut everybody off like you might even be joking to yourself or half joking i want to run away and go live on an island by myself or i want to go live in the mountain by myself you know and so i just feel like you're really wanting to cut these old ties and cut these old cords i feel for you also for some of you there's a person that's really bringing you down really weighing you down like um, like, like they're looking at you as their band-aid or their security blanket and they're coming to you with their problems and they want you to feel sorry for them. And it's not that this is a bad person. I just feel Gemini, you don't have it in you. You're like, I don't have anything left to give. And so some of you are even maybe thinking of like cutting off, uh, these kind of people, people that are coming at you, uh, for support or reassurance or, uh, you know, boosting their self-esteem. You just, you don't have, you don't have the energy for it right now. Um, five of swords can indicate also like you're in a situation where it's, it's, it's triggering you. It's upsetting you. Like resentments might be coming up. Anger might be coming up. So when you find yourself getting triggered, if you can take a step away and start journaling about it. What happened? Who was involved? What was said? What was done? How did it make you feel? Going back earlier in your life, who has made you feel this way before? Why do you think they did it? And why do you, why do you think that they made you feel this way? Um, what do you think the reason was for making you feel this way? Uh, write out 
like a release for them, like forgiveness for them, release for yourself, forgiveness for yourself, and then how you're choosing to view the situation and feel about the situation and how you're choosing to feel about yourself from now on moving forward. If you can do this exercise and take your time with it, you'll deactivate the triggers so that you don't get triggered. Whether somebody is doing it on purpose or accidentally, that trigger won't exist anymore. Okay, but I just feel Gemini like you're just you're done. You're so over it and you just feel like people are whining and crying and complaining and you're oh gosh, like I just feel like you guys are like, I'm not a babysitter. What is this? I'm not a babysitter, but you're talking about adults. You're talking about grown ups. Um, hang in there, my dears. Hang in there, my dears. Your next card coming up here for Gemini. Is the chariot. Holy cannoli, right? We really picked up on that energy. Chariot is wanting to get away. It can indicate travel. Some of you might even be um, needing to get away from working with people. And you may be considering um, finding work where you can work remotely and go away and just kind of like get an Airbnb somewhere or something where you can just kind of disconnect and do your work and be away from people. I do feel, and this is not going to be for all of you because it's so very specific. It might be for maybe one or two of you or a small pop, uh, group of you. I feel some of you might even be thinking about, you know what? I should go be a truck driver, right? <laughs> now, I, I know right now that might be kind of, there's issues with, with, uh, with trucking and uh, trucking is being halted and the, the trucks are very slow right now. But some of you, maybe there's an opportunity presenting itself and you're looking at it like, that's what I want to do. I just want to be in the truck by myself, not dealing with anybody, not talking to anybody, just out on the open road, seeing the scenery. So I feel some of you might be doing something in terms of transitioning over into transportation um, or transport work or delivery, delivery of goods. Um I'm I'm getting like physically moving or physically driving, right? Vehicle, 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 vehicle. Um, chariot can also indicate uh, the message, and I I say this um uh, this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson, and every so often somebody will say, oh, that's by uh, Paul uh, Kahlo or whatever, like from his book, The Alchemist. Well, he he got it from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson said. Once we make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. So Gemini, you might be a little bit frustrated where you're like, all right, angels, all right, guides, tell me what you want me to do. Open the door you want me to go through. And when I see the chariot, you know, this is major arcana. This is life lesson. This is new chapter. When I see the chariot, your lesson right now is to practice your free will. Your lesson right now is to... Uh, make your decisions. So your angels and guides are here to help you and support you with the decisions. You have to tell them which door to open and they'll open it and they'll help you. But they can't override your free will right now. They can't, they're not allowed right now to choose the door for you. But once you can get focused and make your decision, you're going to see them stepping up and helping you, helping you to make it happen. Okay, the next card coming up here for Gemini is the world, another major arcana card. So when the major arcana cards come in back to back for me, it's telling me big changes in a short period of time. The world card is we're closing out old karmic cycles. We've passed the tests. Now is a time uh, for success to be seen, to be celebrated. There can even be a sense of physical travel. We picked up on that here with some kind of work change for some of you. Um, but the world card is like we're ready to be seen and appreciated. We're ready to be celebrated. For me, the world card gives me a sense or a feeling also of like feeling comfortable in your own skin. Feeling comfortable in your own skin. Um, falling in love with yourself in a non-narcissistic way uh, and just being very proud and like feeling very confident in front of people and, and wanting to be seen and celebrated and not having to repeat the old karmic lessons ever again because 
you've graduated. You've graduated into a higher frequency. You've graduated into a, a, a higher experience. Okay? And as I said, there could be physical travel with the world card for many of you as well. Uh, you may want to check out your moon, sun, and rising sign videos. Some weeks those might resonate for you more than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Thank you so much, those of you who've sent donations through PayPal. I'm going to be responding and emailing you guys back and just letting you know I appreciate it very much. I'm a little behind on emails. Thankfully, I'm caught up on private readings, so nobody's like waiting for private readings. That's all caught up. I get a little overwhelmed, guys. I do. I really do. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, I am catching up on emails. Thank you so very much for your support, your love, uh, your kind words. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week, my dears. Don't forget to watch the love readings for November. For those of you who are interested, that is linked in the description. Bye, Gemini. Take care.